Hi, I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Toronto, and I'm here with James Filsinger, President and CEO of YAPTA. Always great to see you, James. Good to see you again, Mike. So, um, well, give me the update. What's happening at YAPTA? Where are you right now? What's what's new with you as a company? Oh, things are going going great uh, with us. Uh, we have over 8,300 clients now. Uh, we're in 46 different countries globally, uh, which is great. Um, and we most recently announced um, our commercial availability of our travel AI product, which is our data insights and analytics into uh, our clients' travel programs. So it's been going really, really great. So with a product like that, of course, you know, it's really leveraging off of that as much talked about, massive amounts of data that's available, but yep. really trying to turn it into useful information. So tell me a little bit about the trends you're seeing specifically in that area. Yeah, I think I mean, the travel industry is its a huge industry. We've had terabytes and terabytes of data for years, and the difficulty that we've had as an industry is just trying to wrap our arms around that and actually get some reasonable analytics out of it, right? right? And so now we have computing horsepower, and we have the tools in place to be able to do that, to leverage that. And so that's what we're doing with Travel AI, is we're, we're giving insights into the travel program that really travel buyers have not had previously, travel and companies have not had, um, giving right. them benchmarks and um, predictive insights and prescriptive recommendations. Uh, so not only telling them what they should expect to see with their program, but actually what's the best path for them to take, and trying to use some machine learning and insights uh, to really make that happen. Well, I would say I'm kind of looking at a number of kind of, uh, let's say, uh, confluence of factors here. But you, look, you know, we just had a, you know, panel here and, and a session and talking here in the studio about NBC. And you think the more the more dynamic, the more fragmented, the more the less you know, the, the less information in a sense that's available on a transaction by transaction basis. This becomes the answer in a sense. Yeah. right? it's really kind yeah. Of, you're, going right, aiming right Re at the problem. Really good, NDC is a really good opportunity for us because right. um, it does add complexity to uh, the whole travel buying process right. for travel buyers, right? And so getting insight into and transparency into those uh, approaches to pricing, the, right. the different ways and the different packages, um, you know, we feel we can bring even more value to our client base through that, so. Yeah, and more and more, right? <clears throat> the, the, uh, the, the pricing process gets more sophisticated got to leverage the tools to, to make sure you're keeping pace, right, yeah. as a buyer and for corporations. Yeah, right? I mean, hotels have been doing kind of uh, the NDC approach for airlines for years, right? Because right. they have different amenities that are included in that right. rate. You know, airlines want to do the same thing with their bundled pricing. They want to say, this includes priority boarding, Wi-Fi, and one check bag. Well, this is a base fare plus priority boarding plus lounge access. Right. Well, how do I compare those right. as a buyer? Right. How do I rationally do that? Well, we're, gonna, we're taking our lessons that we've learned through our Room IQ product and what the hotels have been doing for years, and we'll leverage that into the NDC environment. Yep. And, and you're right, I mean, that is what they want to do, and, they, and airlines, you know, most or all their profitability is really being driven from fees, not from the base fare. Yeah. So this Big is, market. you know, they're already there. Yep. It's just a matter of now taking that next step. But, yep. uh, but for corporations, I mean, it's an opportunity, well, or, you know, real liability if they don't get, if they're not ready for it, right? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. So, uh, generally, trends you're seeing uh, in the marketplace, business travel, you know, that when you're out there talking to your customers, what are they talking about? Uh, I think uh, we've hit on kind of two of them, uh, which is one is NDC, yeah. so a lot of people are concern, concerned and excited, I'll say, about uh, NDC and what that's going to mean. Uh, and then uh, a lot of buzz about artificial intelligence. Right. Um, right. And is it real and is it happening and, and can how can travel, which is a very personal experience, leverage vast amounts of data and artificial intelligence to still give me a personal right. uh, experience. And, and so I think um, that's a trend that we'll continue to see how that plays out. Um, I'm excited to see how we can leverage that kind of well, horsepower. And, and your kind of rhetorical questions, is it real, is it happening? It's like yes and yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now is probably the word, right? Because yeah. we've been talking about it for so long. I think in some ways, you know, people are like, you're waiting for that tipping point, but it feels like we're there. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're very close to, to taking that. Now, I, I will say, you know, we as a travel industry and corporate travel in particular, we have a difficult time sometimes uh, embracing new technology. I really hope that as we get to that tipping point that we'll have corporations that embrace that technology. Well, I think as an industry though, I would counter and say, 
at, we've gotten better and better at being able to figure out how to apply policy about how to you know uh, incorporate you know uh, tools and capabilities yeah, yeah. at a much faster pace. Yeah. There's still a lot that has to happen yeah. for it to be successful here, yeah. unlike the consumer space. Yeah. But I yeah. think you know you see it all around. I think the the time to market is certainly much much it's, faster. Yeah, it's, it is it's getting much faster. shorter. That's right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. as always, great to talk with you and kind of hear from you know what you're seeing out on the front lines. Yeah. And thanks for uh, having me. I appreciate it. And thank you for your support of GBTA. Yeah, thanks for having us here. GBTA is great uh, for us. Uh, it's one of the key, many of the, the key events that we go to. Uh, GBTA is front and center. Uh, you guys have been great for us, so okay. thanks for that. Thanks for that, too. And I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Toronto.